were very different. You know, there's another hormone called prolactin. Prolactin is a pituitary hormone. It has to do with our emotional tears. The more prolactin we have, the easier it is to cry. The less prolactin we have, the harder it is to find tears. So who do you think has more prolactin? <laughs> you got it. The women have more. What's really interesting is children have about the same levels of prolactin growing up. When I was a guy, a little guy, seven, eight, nine years old, and I was growing up in the D.C. area, and I was following the Redskins and the Senators. Man, they lost all the time. I was crying and crying and crying. It was great. It was just great. Then when I got to be 12 years old, the tears dried up. I stopped crying. And looking back in graduate school, I thought oh, I was just trying to be a tough guy, you know. But physically what happens then is the man's prolactin goes down right when his testosterone goes up. There's an inverse relationship between the two. So men have a much more difficult time connecting to their tears following a loss or when they're very stressed. There's some beautiful African rituals where the, uh, uh, the men in the tribe will come up and stand next to the women who are keening and wailing. And they do this in order to resonate their own pain because they know they can't get it going in the same way. So they stand next to someone who is just vibrating like crazy, you know, and by that, they then start to vibrate. 